Hi, I'm Jonathan Bloomberg, writing for Movie Scene in Sweden. Hello. Are you in Stockholm? Yeah, no, I'm a bit south of Stockholm, but uh, good Great. shout. <laughs> yeah, Stop. have you been? No, but my uh, uh, some uh, a friend of mine just got back from Stockholm and said that it was light at like midnight, and then it gets yeah, it... light again at three a.m. It sounded like crazy making. Are you, are you all <laughs> well, losing well, your it, minds? It, it... It's true. We, we we can spend we can spend this time talking about it because uh, in the top of Sweden uh, the sun never sets uh, during the, the the summer. This wow, early years. that's bananas. The, yeah, and it never rises um, on the other end of the year. So so that that sounds uh, like an emotional yeah. fiasco. Exactly. So um, I watched um, the all the episodes that um, we were allowed to see, so all except the final ones. I don't know who killed you, but I know that you die over and over again. Um, so, so how was it to to step into this role and actually get to like reinvent it in each episode? Well, first of all, I'll tell you because I don't want you to live in suspense that it was. Um the uh, radiation from cell phone towers that killed Edgar, actually, it turns out. And so yeah. it ends up being this just like very weird and particularly coming from Apple. It's a very, very weird tack that they've taken. But that is what happens. And, and 5G, uh, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, it was, uh, wait, what was your question? Yeah, how it was to reinvent your character. Sure. Each That's other character's eyes. Yeah. It's fun to reinvent your character where you get to play a different shade of him every single time rather than just coming in to do the same kind of shtick. It's like each episode peels back the onion skin and you get to be a new version. And I like that. Yeah. It's like in seventh and... grade when you're auditioning haircuts. You know what I mean? You're like, oh, maybe I'm the vanilla ice guy. Nope. <laughs> maybe I'm like a mullet man. Nope. You just keep trying and trying until eventually you lose your virginity. And then you stick with it. So I guess that that's what, what you had back then. Yeah, and by the way, I didn't lose my virginity in seventh grade. Jesus, how dare you? Literally, well, how dare you insinuate such a thing? Well, well, I don't know. We're weird in Sweden. The sun never sets. <laughs> Yeah, uh, so um, I, I I really loved your previous uh, work as well in, in Silicon Valley and uh, Avenue Five, uh, especially the second season of Avenue Five. So I was really sad to see that uh, show go. Oh yeah, uh, really. yeah, and and you you did that with Adam uh, Adam Paulson, who is also Swedish and therefore weird, he and it he showed it on that show. <laughs> he is so funny. Oh my gosh. He killed me. He was the person who most consistently made me laugh on set. And that was a very stacked set of funny people. But it, man, it, it was. Yeah. And and um, on, on this uh, show, you also had um, uh, your own personal pet, uh, Roxanne. Yeah. Uh, Roxana. Uh, sorry. Roxana, that's uh, right. Yeah. So, so how was it uh, working with a, a pet like that? I, I'm guessing it, it wasn't that hard, but well, that was actually a precondition of my contract where I said, I, you have to include my pet lizard in this show because we can't be separated for more than the length of a brief online interview. Um, and they were like, we don't want that. It doesn't make sense. And I was like, well, then I'm walking. And they were like, okay, we'll make this weird concession. Um, but uh, yeah, on all the other shows I've worked on, she's always there. They just green screen her out, which is easy because of her natural shade. It's like not that I, I, I see. So that that's the timer going down with my time with you now. That's oh, ro the Roxana time. Mercifully, yes. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I see. Well, uh, I I guess I need to let you uh, re rejoin uh, with uh, Roxana. Uh, yes. But I really love uh, watching this season, and I'm sure the the viewers uh, will do that as well. Oh, so no. at the premiere. And if they don't like it, you shut up, you. And whoever you are listening and watching, if you didn't like it, don't tell a damn soul. Preach. Thank you for having Thanks. me. Okay.